So, you've got a copy of Tiny Flux, and you're ready to play your first game. Great! Tiny Flux is a two-player game, so grab a friend. Hi! Hi! To start, take a look at the basic rules card. It says, to begin, shuffle the deck and deal three cards to each player. Choose someone to go first. Keep this card on the table and has the basic starting rules of draw one and play one. That's really all the rules you need. Deal three cards each. Put the basic rules on the table where everyone can see them and the rest of the cards face down next to the basic rules to form a draw pile. Decide who goes first. Now take a look at your cards. There are four types of cards in Flux. Green Keepers, Pink Goals, Yellow New Rules, and Blue Actions. Maria, the rules are draw one, play one. So draw one card and add it to your hand. Next, you need to play one. If you have a keeper in your hand, play one now by placing it face up on the table in front of you. Great! You have now drawn one and played one, so your turn is over. Janet, it's your turn. Same rules. Draw one and play one. Perfect. Now you've each played a keeper. There are a total of five keepers in this game, and in keeping with the tiny theme, they are all objects that are tiny, like insects and candy. It's always good to play keepers if you have them, because they will help you win the game. Your turn, Maria. Okay, Janet. If you don't have any keepers in play, why not play a goal? Goals get played in the middle of the table because they apply to both players. They tell us how to win the game. There are a total of five goals in this deck, each one showing two different keeper objects that go together. For example, the goal insects requires both the ladybug and the ant because they are both insects. Janet has played the goal sweets, which requires the chocolate chip and the cinnamon candy. Since she already has the cinnamon candy in front of her, she is halfway to winning the game. Now all she needs is the chocolate chip. Your turn, Maria. Maria has played an action. To use these cards, do exactly what they say, then discard them face up next to the draw pile. Let's see what Maria's action says. Draw three, play two of them. Set your hand aside. Draw three cards and play two of them. Discard the last card, then pick up your hand and continue with your turn. Maria chooses to play the Ant Keeper and the new rule Play 3, which gets played on top of the Play 1 portion of the basic rules, since this new rule changes the number of plays. The instructions on the action say to discard the last card, so Maria discards the Share the Wealth action and picks her hand up again. Now that she's finished following the instructions on Draw 3, Play 2 of them, she discards that card as well. Notice that the basic rules have now changed. The rules for all players from here forward, at least until they get changed again, are draw one, play three. It's still Maria's turn. Maria drew one back at the beginning of her turn, so she has met the draw rule, but she has only played one card so far, the draw three, play two of them action. Notice that that card and all cards played because of it are counted as a single play. That means that even though Maria played the Ant Keeper and the Play 3 new rule and discarded the Share the Wealth action, that was all part of her first play. Draw 3, play 2 of them. Since the rules are Draw 1, play 3 now, and Maria has played one action so far, she needs to play two more cards from her hand. Maria chooses to play the goal Round and Red for her second play. When a new goal is played, the old goal is discarded. For Maria's third and final play, she chooses the action Shuffle Hands. It says to gather up the cards from everyone's hands, shuffle them together, and deal them out evenly, starting with yourself. Okay, 
Now Maria has drawn one card and played three cards. And her turn is now over. Your turn, Jenna. The rules are still draw one, play three. Janet drew the new rule, draw two, and immediately played it as her first play. The rules are now draw two, play three. So far, Janet has drawn one card and played one card. So she needs to draw one more card and play two more cards to meet the current rules. Janet has just realized that she can win the game with her next play. She plays the action Steal a Keeper to steal Maria's ladybug and put it in front of her. Since the goal is round and red, and she has both the cinnamon candy keeper and the ladybug keeper, Janet wins! I win! Rematch. And that's how you play Tiny Flux. Time to reshuffle them and play again. <laughs>